Fenway Park, summer 2013. A country artist sells out the park faster than Bruce Springsteen and the Rolling Stones. It's the biggest single and two night crowds in the famed ballpark's history. In fact, if you don't follow country, Jason Aldean may be the biggest star you've never heard of. It's a crazy town full of neon trees. Everybody plays, everybody sings. Aldean's Every Man Vibe has taken him through five platinum albums, a slew of awards, and a nomination on tomorrow's CMA Awards for Entertainer of the Year. Don't you want to stay here a little while? He's had some crossover appeal with hits like the Kelly Clarkson duet, Don't You Want to Stay. Don't you want to stay? and a much longer list of country chart toppers. Party anthems like 1994. He's even had success merging hip hop and country. We well, learn how to kiss and cuss and fight too. Better watch out for the boys in blue. With songs like the ludicrous collaboration Dirt Road Anthem. Now this Georgia boy may surprise you, not afraid to sport a hoop ring on each ear or wear bright pink at his yearly breast cancer fundraiser. But one thing he will not do, take off his cowboy hat. So you, you would trade that uh, for a baseball cap? Trade the cowboy hat for a baseball cap? Would you? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Did I stump uh, you? Maybe for a couple innings. In fact, long before country stardom was in his sights, a young teen named Jason Williams dreamed he'd be playing parks like Fenway, not on stage, but in the field. To get a chance to play it as an artist, you know, and, and not bad. This not is, bad. This, I, is, this I mean, isn't bad. This is this is not. It's, the... uh, it's not what I had in mind, but it, it'll uh, it'll definitely work. When I talked to him this summer, he did get a chance to show off his skills in the Red Sox locker room batting cage. Nice cut, nice cut. Oh, I felt that one. Woo! Woo! That was all wood. Aldean was a child of divorce, living in Macon, Georgia with his mom, spending summers with his dad in Florida. And when he was 13, his dad gave him a guitar. Like 14, 15, you're still in high school, and you're doing gigs at the, like, the VFW Hall. Playing until like one or two in the morning and going to school? Yeah, it's probably why my grades weren't so good. With school not on his priority list, he chucked the possibility of a college baseball scholarship and instead made his way to Nashville, soon accompanied by a new wife, his high school sweetheart, and baby. I kind of started to realize like, this is what I want to do, but I also, you know, at some point have to be responsible parent and you know, it's not like when I first moved to town where I could go get a loaf of bread and some bologna and I was good for the week, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. After five years struggling to get noticed, he was finally signed to a record deal and began a blockbuster run that put plenty of bologna on the table for his wife and now two daughters. Yeah, but that's the way we get down in a hick town. Then late last year, a collection of cell phone photos changed everything. Tell us about that night when the pictures were taken with you and that American Idol contestant. I mean, what happened that night? Well, you know, I mean, I, I think it's just, um, you know, it's one of those things where, you, you know, you go out and, and you know, you're just um, hanging out. And, you know, I, I think the biggest thing is, you know, obviously there was, uh, there was things going on in my marriage at the time where, you know, I just wasn't, wasn't really happy and you go out and, and you know, you kind of let your guard down a little bit and, and um, it's, it's, it's hard, to, it's hard enough to deal with it in private. It was Aldine's biggest foray into the mainstream. Gossip show TMC broadcast several photographs taken in an L.A. bar of Jason getting familiar with an ex-American Idol contestant named Brittany Kerr. As damaging as the photos were, the paparazzi also cut him a bit of a break by capturing him leaving the bar in a cab without Miss Kerr. You know, there were still some people that were asking, did you cheat on your wife? Well, I mean, you know, it's, um, 
everybody's going to have an opinion. You know what I mean? Um, you know, I think uh, probably the best thing that could have happened that night was they also took the pictures of me getting in a cab with my buddy. So it was, you know, is what it is. Seven months after the photos surfaced, Al Dean announced that he and his wife of 11 years would be divorcing. Al Dean just wrapped his nearly 80 city tour. All right, you're laying down tonight, Fenway Park. Yeah. And so had hundreds of thousands of devoted fans supporting him as he transitions to a new single life. getting on stage every night and playing music and and looking out and seeing people having fun I'm really happy right now and all this craziness that's going on you know personal life and professional life no matter what's going on I can always get on stage and, and come out and play and, and it all goes away Number four on our countdown of the greatest country duets. The Eagle has landed. Don Henley of the Eagles, that is. The rock star teamed up with Trisha Yearwood on Walk Away Joe in 1992. It was mainly the song that was just so amazing and then her voice and his voice together on it. And look closely at the music video. That Walk Away Joe? is actually a 22-year-old Matthew McConaughey. That boy's just a woman. 